So I have had my AAP-01 for quite a while now. In fact, I actually have uh, a couple more of them uh, as well. Turns out I actually really like the gun. In order to be as reliable, accurate, and efficient as possible, I have gotten a number of upgrades. So this is actually the first AAP I had. So it's gone through the most use out of all of them total. So this is a normal AAP, and as you can see, there's a little piece right here, and that is called a firing pin lock. You should be able to see that this one appears not to have that, and that is because it broke off. So now whenever I go to shoot my AAP, it just continuously fires full auto or whatever. It will not stop. They finally came back in stock. These things are pain i've been looking for them for months and i finally got them we've got the cow cow firing pin lock i've gotten the complete uh cow cow steel hammer set i got the aluminum guide rod includes a recoil spring and then also two of the buffers i also got this is probably one of the most important parts the action army rotary hop it chamber and to go along with that i've got a Maple Leaf 60 degree Autobot bucking and a crazy Maple Leaf crazy jet barrel, which is what is it? One, yeah, 150, 150 millimeter. So, to swap out the hammer and firing pin lock, first, what you're going to have to do is take off the upper, and then you will have to take out there's going to be two pins. Think real quick, there's going to be two pins one right there and then the other is right there now you're going to have to push both of those out now next what you're going to want to do is take the housing there's going to be like a an edge back here and you're just going to want to pull that up like that so you can try and take the um the part that you press to get your upper and lower separated put that to the side and now what you're going to want to do is push in your trigger and this will help push up your housing. Now you're gonna to want to hold on to this side because if you don't, chances are the firing pin lock will just shoot right out and you don't wanna lose that spring. So be extra careful with that. And then you can set this aside. And here is your housing. So um, this part right here is the firing pin lock. Now that's originally what had broken on mine. It uh, snapped clean off, so you can go ahead and take that out like that. And don't lose that spring. Now next up, there's going to be two more pins that we need to take out. The first one is going to be right here near the bottom. And the other one is going to be right here near the top. Um, pretty much just push both of those out. Be wary because some of your parts may come off fly off and there's also springs like this one see your spring right there you don't want to lose that go ahead and push this other one out and now we can go ahead and take out this spring and then grab our flash and now we should be able to push out this pin and this this pin is going to be located right here it'll be a little exposed and this is what holds the hammer together, so be careful to make sure that doesn't shoot anywhere. And then just pull that out like that. And then we can grab the rest of these parts. So these are the four parts that come with the hammer set. And if you're just replacing the hammer, all you will have is this and this uh, sort of diamond shaped piece. And uh, that'll just go on the hammer like that. So, we have everything disassembled. Go ahead and start putting it back together, starting with the hammer, which is probably the most annoying part to put on. You can go ahead and put this piece, it'll just go in the back like this. It'll go through that one, the, the slot on the housing like that. Now after we do that, you're going to want to go ahead and take your hammer and 
this spring right here, which is going to have two different size edges. Now, you're going to put the spring on the hammer and put the side with the smaller edge like that. So it'll be on this ledge right here to stop it from moving. And then you're going to want the longer side of the spring exposed. And now we slide the hammer into the housing like this. And we want to make sure the exposed part of the spring goes to the back corner of the housing. And then once we have that all good, we can put our pin back in. Uh, this will be a bit tricky, you'll have to get it lined up, but after a couple tries, you should be able to get it. And one thing you can also do is take an Allen key, put it through one side, stick it through the hammer like this just to keep it steady, and then push in the pin along with it. Now this one will just go right in like that on the right side of the housing. And then we can go ahead and put in this spring. Now both of these parts are not gonna push the pin in on that first available hole. We'll do it through the second, but I'm going to just push it through like this and then this latch is going to go onto um, this part that was in between the hammer there's going to be a slit in there and what I like to do is take tweezers push it down and then move it off to the side and then now we should be good go ahead and test and make sure it's good all right so now our hammer locks back and then you should be able to push it in like that so what you should be able to do is push it back like that it'll click in it'll lock and then push right here and it should flip back up like that now we can take our sear spring and our auto sear and then just there's going to be a little slit in the auto sear and then the sear spring will just go in it like this and then we can go ahead and put that on our housing and then just stick the pin right through and now that I have that pin in we can go ahead and put our firing pin lock in here so how we're gonna do this is on this side of the housing we're going to just put the spring in here like that and then there's going to be a slit where the lever on the firing pin lock goes into and just push down and then make sure that's snug in there and we are essentially done so what we have to do now is put back in this piece right here and then pu put this lever on the correct side of the housing make sure it sticks up through this slot right here and just set it down like this push in our um, uh, upper, upper and lower separator and then push down the housing and it should stop this from going all the way back and now you can put in your two pins like that make sure you push them in all the way and we are done so we now have a working upgraded hammer and a working firing pin lock just to make sure it all functions properly. Now I have split this up into two parts. I'm going to be doing the 
lower in one video and then the next video will be with all of the lower or the upper so the hop up unit the inner barrel the bucking and everything else so if you guys are interested in that stay tuned but in the meantime i hope you enjoyed and found this useful and i will see you guys next time Thank you.